What is going on guys, Skywalker, and it's a beautiful day here in Akron, Ohio. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Empire. Let's jump back in to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. Uh, it is not Saturday for me. Oh no, not this glitch again. What? There we go, we're good. Alrighty, so... Not uh, for me, it's Thursday, it is cold, but... Anyways, today we are going to be finishing up, hopefully, the bottom of the on in the Fracture Rift. We should have a whole lot left to go. So hopefully, we can find out what is driving these stuff that mad, and why they decided to attack everybody, and why they got hungry. Like, the hippos or the zombies. Uh, in the first place. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday, but like I said, it is Thursday for me, we had a good sale day, we raised $2,500 for breast cancer, uh, it was a great thing at my uh, company, we had, a, we had a pretty darn good day here, uh, all in all, but let me know uh, what you guys have planned for this weekend, what are you guys are doing for Saturday, uh, my Saturday, this is technically my birthday episode, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just going to be sitting around the house. Uh, it's supposed to get kind of warm, so I might go to the driving range. I might go get nine holes of golf in. I don't know yet. I haven't been golfing yet this year, so if I get to on my birthday, I'll be, uh, I'll be a pretty happy guy. All right, let's wipe out some more cell casts. Because we're going to attack this anyway. This man just, like, roundhouse kicked me in the face. What's up with that? And now he's out. Joey, you, you're always messed up, buddy. Okay, I think we only have this last door to go through. Ooh, is there any stuff that's in here? There is not. There's only items for us to grab. So let's snag them, shall we? Never hurts to have too many items. Alright, we got some more credits, some more med packs. Where the heck is Bastila? Okay, she's there. Whew! I think a May heart attack there. I couldn't find her. Okay, let's see. We've basically got this whole map. Yeah, okay. We've discovered the entire place. So, what we need to do is go back into the room that we just came out of, which is this one. And we're gonna walk past the gas mine because we can. Uh, I'm just gonna activate it because why not? Poison. Yes. And, uh, I'll kill myself real sure. quickly. Um, I gotta find out if we have a certain item or not. If we don't have it, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? I believe we do have it. Uh, we only have one suit, so we're gonna leave our party members behind. We're gonna go into the ocean floor. Uh, we do have them. Good. We have the sonic emitters. If we didn't, we'd be fraxing shark by now. So, this is the part of the game that drives you nuts because you take forever to move in this suit. So, it's going to be a long, long walk. I might end up actually cutting it to make it seem not so long for you guys. Uh, we'll talk to the survivor here shortly, but I'm going to go make sure that there's no items we can't get back this way. Uh, well, the door. Is there anything we can do through here? I don't know if I've ever opened it, or if it can be opened. It cannot be opened. It's been welded shut. Alright, so they, uh, they said nope. Not allowed to come in. Alrighty. So what's through here? Is there anything this way? It is. Full locker over there. Let's see what extra items we can get. Looks like this place just got attacked. It, just, it looks like it was part of the station. Or they did say it blew up, didn't it? So it must be part of the station that is now officially underwater. That didn't take long. Oh, I don't think there's anything in here. There's nothing. Okay. Well, oh, let's head back to the survivor. I'm going to make a cut, and when we come back, we'll be right there, so that way you're not waiting for 30 seconds it takes for us to get back, so be right back. All right, we are back right next to the Survivor. Uh, I just want to make sure we didn't get too close before we came back, so here we are. Let's talk to him, 
see what's going on. Who's there? You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm Austin Skywalker. The Republic sent us down to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell cats. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hrackert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's gotta be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. All right, I'll come with you. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading Damn. out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Well, you think it's safe, I'm just kidding. All right, let's follow him. That way we can stick together. Oh, we're stuck. Come on. Can I please be unstuck? Thank you. Alright, so we can see the ocean floor. Let's go take a gander of what is waiting for us outside. There he is, the survivor is waiting. There's some sharks. We, I don't know what to take a risk with. Oh, and he's a goner. <laughs> the shark ate him. Well, now I wonder what he would prefer to come out here with the sharks or stay in with the Selka. All right, well, we're going to have to fight our way through the sharks because the star map is somewhere underwater. Oh, there's the Fraxa. There he is, and he's going to come try to eat us here any minute. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come here, little shark. Come here, Fraxa, shark do 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 Fraxa, shark do 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 Fraxa, shark do 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 Fraxa, shark. Fraxa, shark do 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 do. They're goners. Dead Fraxa, shark do 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 do. Dead Fraxa, shark do do do. That doesn't work. That I'm sorry. That's horrifying. I should be ashamed of myself for that, but I'm not. So it happens. Because we're so close to being done with Manon. I actually thought it was going to take us longer than what it has. Um, just with how short we've had to kind of turn our videos into. Uh, oh, there's a big mama in here. Oh, I almost didn't hit the button in time. That was almost really bad. Check out what's in this footlocker here. There's a fire belt. Alright. Let's go back out with the sharks. Have some more fun. Down under the ocean on the Hrack Kern Rift. Oh, the Frax is coming around this corner. There he is. Boom! Down he goes. I thought this game is beautiful. So you have the ones that you can kill and the ones that are just floating on the outside. It's pretty darn awesome. It's a nice little thing to say, hey, here's the world around you, other than just this. A little part that we get to walk around. So we're going to head to this door. Because we have to go here for uh, one quick uh, reason. We have some people we got to talk to, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm hoping it's either this door or the next one. If it's this door, if it's the wrong door... I think we're going to be fine by ourselves for a minute. But. 
Oh, uh, well, I don't know which door it was. I don't know if it's the right one yet or not. But we're gonna chuck the grenade. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting all these South Park players. Okay. We're gonna be using a lot of medpacks. Lots and lots of medpacks. And we're out of force power, so that's nice. We have an antidote. Oh, we have a bunch of antidotes. Good. Right, we're fine. We can take them all on by. See? We're fine. There's nothing to worry about. We're fine. Alright, let's go take what they got. She was on their bodies. Let's see if we get anything good. Some more frags. Oh, uh, I don't think we need anything else. Foot locker. Or computer strikes and more antidote kits. Oh. Okay, I did not see that. That's why my awareness should be higher, but it is not. Okay, this is the right way we need to go. We need to talk to these guys. No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Cell Cap in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. They'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. Whoa, That'll fella. stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! Whoa! Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta deactivate that so we don't die. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Cell Cap huh. are coming. No. No, no! They are freaking out. Calm down. Everything will be okay. Or right, you know what? Let's let's go with I'm a friend. I'll protect you. You're both safe now. I I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Ooh. Sammy and me, I I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while and Strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Um... What was the Republic doing here? We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get Language. the So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Colto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, what happened? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open this this monster rose up from the rift it was a Faraxa shark i think bigger than anything i'd ever seen before bigger than our submersibles it was like it was screaming inside my head then all the cell cats started screaming too and they turned on us what did the shark have to do with that well maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift it could have been it might have a lair in the Harakid Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source... And all those other Farax and sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. So what can I do about it? The Farax and sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. 
What are you talking about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Frax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. What else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Phyraxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Phyraxan shark. What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. How would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I will try to destroy the harvesting machine. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. So we are provided with two different options here. Either poison everything, or we blow everything up. And I think everybody knows how much I like to blow everything up. So let's just blow everything up. Let's just blow everything the kingdom come. That's my that's my take. I like to blow stuff up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to blow uh, their machinery machinery over there sky high. Oh, there's some more Soka. Okay. We're fighting these guys by ourselves, too. Hot diggity. That guy looks like he's really running from me. What in the world? Is he just doing laps? Why are you saying bolt? I see you. And now you, now you don't see me. Well, I spoke too soon. And now you're Bapu Pika. Alright, let's level up. Attributes, attributes. Let's do, um... Ooh, let's do Constitution to give us some more health. Skills. Um, let's use our computer use again. Powers. Oh, thank God. Where is... Where is the one that I'm looking for? Let me cancel first and second to your force powers. Active on the target. Um, that's not what I would like. For a... Saving throws, first speed we don't need, force of valor. Don't want that. Force resistance. This power offers some protection from direct force powers, attacks of Jedi opponents, possibly negating their effects. Yeah, we're taking that baby right now. And then next we can use force immunity. So, beautiful. Hopefully now we won't get, you know, force speared into oblivion. Oh, this is a public soldier. He's Bapu Beep dead. Gave us a breath mask. I don't think we ever, uh... I'm thinking back at the Sith Embassy, we never disabled the, uh, the poison. In that one hallway. Oops. My bad. I forgot to do that. I actually forgot all about it until I saw that breath mask. Anyways. Alright, we're gonna go out the door behind them. About this pressure door, and because we already made that one cut, we have a little bit more time, so we're going to begin the airlock sequence. 
and head outside. Oh, there's a Firaxis shark right in our face. Oh, of course, we, we didn't kill it. Come on, we need to move. Down he goes. All right, there's another Firaxis shark. Oh, please! <laughs> Whew. That was a little close. I kind of panicked. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we gotta go this way. Must go this way. We're gonna make another cut until we get up to the machine because it's, it's a long walk. No need for you guys to wait for that because there's no more sharks. So we'll be back. All right, we're back here at the control panel. Look down at that giant fraction shark. He does not look happy. All right. So accessing harvester control, success, continue. That's access fuel tank pressure control. Okay, so we need inject the product three million. Container pods at five. We're gonna fill the container. Get it to five. We're gonna transfer. We're going to. Um, where we gotta get it at. I forget. I forget where we have to have it at. Um. So I thought we had to get it at one certain. Fort. Um, so fuel. Hydroleum unstable at four million sangin. Okay. So we have to get the fuel injector to four million. Let's see, let's dump the container. Fill it. Transfer. It's not what I wanted. We can um, transfer from the injector to the container. And we can fill the injector, transfer from the injector to the container, transfer back. <laughs> I used to know how to do this like the back of my hand. So I'm pretty sure we're trying to get it to four. So let's dump the container. I'll transfer. We're at three. We need to inject the pod. So one of three. Um, so we got it. So now if we dump the container, see we're at the injector pod's at one of three million. We need the container pod to be at four. So now we're going to transfer from the injector to the container, put it at one out of five. We're going to fill the injector, puts it at three to three. Once we uh, transfer back over, moves it three plus one is four, and kaboom! Blows it sky eye. Explosions all around. Congratulations. We did it, and now we're going to see this. Giant for action shark. I won't make a cut here because as soon as we turn this corner, this guy is a beast. And I want you guys to take a look at him because he is a monster shark. Look at that man. Now that the cult of harvesting machine has been destroyed, the great fraction shows no signs of hostility that allows you to pass. Look how much of a beast he is. Jeez. Things of legend. Is that sea beast? Alright, we need to move forward because right there is our beautiful, beautiful star map here on Manon. And then we only have a little bit left to go. We have to, uh, you know, in this Let's Play, we're probably not going to go see what that Rodian wants. Um, I would like to 100% the game, but I, I know it has to do with we have to move back and forth a lot. So we probably won't do that this playthrough. Uh, maybe if we do a sick playthrough, we will, uh, we'll do it then. Look at our beautiful star map here. Ah, four down, one to go. One more, that is it. All right, so we have a long walk back, and I mean a long walk back. So what we're going to do, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, and unless anything crazy happens, we are going to catch back up at the beginning of next episode, uh, getting ready to head back up to the top, uh, right back to the Republic Embassy. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button for me. Just destroy it and subscribe to the channel for more content on the way. And uh, definitely go to soestic.co, check out the clothes, grab some merch, get yourself some good gaming gear. Call of Duty's coming out around the corner, Star Wars uh, Fallen Order's coming around the corner, uh, Pokemon's right down the street, I mean that's next month as well. So lots of good games coming out, make sure you get geared up, and code Skywalker at checkout saves you 15% off your next purchase. So have a great rest of your day guys, Skywalker signing off, peace, and may the force be with you.